Happy birthday, sir. On the island of Sodor, the fat controller is very proud of his engines. He likes them to be on time, puffing proudly, and always helping each other to be really useful. One morning, Thomas puffed into Brendam Docks. Good morning, Salty. Good morning, Edward. My, my, your cheeks are as red as me paintwork, me hearty. <laughs> I know. I've been pushing and pulling heavy trucks all morning, and I still have a lot of jobs to do. Suddenly, the fat controller raced into the docks in Winston. He scrunched to a stop by Thomas. Morning, sir. Good morning, Thomas. Today is my birthday, and I am to go shopping with Lady Hat and Dowager Hat. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, thank you, Thomas. I would like you to take Winston on your jobs today. Winston is new to Sodor. It is important that he sees what it is to be really useful. T Thomas Beam from buffer to buffer. Of course, sir. Right away, sir. And then come back to meet me here at tea time. Shiver me timbers, me hearties. I, me hearties, I remember a story that Edward told me about a birthday surprise for the fat controller when he was just a young man. Thomas's firebox fizzed. Tell us, Salty. Salty smiled. Well, now... This goes back a long way, me hearties. Back when Edward first arrived on Sodor. Every year, on his birthday, Sir Topham Hatt and Edward would visit all of the stations on the railway and have a slice of birthday cake with the passengers, always in his favourite carriage, the oldest carriage on Sodor. Even older than Edward. He loved riding in that carriage. I remember his smile. It would light up the sky. Thomas and Winston listened. E even Cranky stopped cranking. Their eyes were wide with wonder. Ah, tis a pity nobody has seen that carriage for years. Anyways, I've jobs to do, and so have ye. Thomas, Thomas pumped his pistons. We must hurry now, Winston. I have a lot to do. Of course, Thomas. Ready when you are. But Winston wasn't thinking about jobs. He was thinking about the fat controller and his birthday. Thomas puffed into Marin Station. Hurry, please. I have a lot to do. Now, Winston, we must hurry to Farmer Trotter's farm with the apples for his pigs. But Winston didn't answer because Winston wasn't there. Winston? Winston, where are you? I was trying to look for something. Looking for things is not being really useful. Come along. No time to lose. Winston wanted to say more, but Thomas wasn't interested in what Winston was trying to do. Thomas had jobs to do. Thomas pulled into Farmer Trotter's farm. Here are your apples, Farmer Trotter. Thank you, Thomas. You're just in time and really useful. That made Thomas very happy. Now, Winston, we must hurry to the Whispering Woods to pick up some logs. But Winston didn't answer because Winston wasn't there. Winston? Winston! Where are you? I'm sorry, Thomas. I was looking for... Looking for things is not being really useful. Being on time is. Come along. Winston wanted to say more, but Thomas was already steaming away to his next job. Thomas was already steaming away to his next job. At the Whispering Woods, the workman was happy to see Thomas. Thank you, 
Thomas! Now I have to hurry back to the Fat Controller for tea time. Ready, Winston? But Winston didn't answer because Winston wasn't there. Winston? Winston? Where are you? I think I might have found something. We don't have time to find things, Winston. The Fat Controller will be waiting. Please go in front of me. Then I won't lose you again. So Thomas puffed away with Winston right in front. Winston clickety-clacked slowly on the tracks. His eyes looked to left and right into the woods. Winston, it's almost tea time. We must hurry. Then there was trouble. Winston slowed, but Thomas didn't. He was too busy rushing to be a really careful engine. With a crash and a bang, Thomas bumped into Winston. It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Luckily, no one was hurt, but Thomas felt terrible. Winston, the Fat Controller asked me to show you how to be really useful, not really silly. And now, we're late for the Fat Controller on his birthday. Winston smiled. He didn't want Thomas to be upset. But Thomas, I think I found something that will make the Fat Controller very happy. Thomas was puzzled. What have you been looking for? I've been looking for the carriage the Fat Controller used to ride in on his birthday. This time, Thomas was excited to hear more. Thomas was excited to know more. Tell me, Winston. Look, Thomas, over there. Huh. It's the old carriage, just like Salty said. You found it, Winston. We can take it to Victor at the Steamworks. He'll clean it up and... We can give the Fat Controller the biggest birthday surprise ever. And Winston smiled his biggest smile. Thomas and Winston arrived at the docks. The Fat Controller was waiting. Thomas, you're late. Where have you been? I'm sorry, sir, but may we show you the reason we're late? If you'll allow us, can we take you to Napa Station? Very well, Thomas. I will drive Winston. Winston and Thomas smiled. And without saying another word, Thomas chuffed away. At Natford Station, Thomas waited for Winston and the Fat Control. Well, Thomas, why did you bring me to Natford? Just then, Edward chuffed into Natford, pulling the old carriage. The Fat Controller couldn't believe his eyes. Oh, my! I remember this every year on my birthday. Happy birthday, sir! The Fat Controller smiled. What a marvellous surprise! Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Winston. I can see you have both had a really useful day. And that made... And that made Thomas and Winston happier than ever.